from Las Vegas. Frankie, say hey. Hey. Uh, you look a little tired. I'm really tired. You look tired too. Yeah, thank you. We've been up for um, over 24 hours, no sleep. Uh -huh, like 26. Yeah, we flew in and went immediately to SHOT Show. Yes. We're wearing masks, you're not. I just took mine off. I'm living on the edge. We're wearing masks because you're supposed to everywhere. Yeah. Right now, so. Uh -huh. Anyway, we're gonna do a little recap of day one, or day our one. day one of SHOT Show. Yes. At some of the knife stops. It looks stupid and it's like caffeine. We're gonna get yelled at. I know, I know. We're just our gonna masks, be quiet. Though. Okay. We're gonna be quiet. <laughs> like it makes a difference if you're quiet. Okay, you, you gotta yell. Okay. All right. No, it's fine. Oh, I thought you wanted to read. Okay, this is fine. one take. One, one take. take. I'll yell. Yeah. Um, we stopped at pretty much all knife manufacturers, but not that many. No. Uh, it's so Some much. Aren't there. It's so much walking, and you just don't get a lot. You don't get as much time at e each individual stop that you want to. And you get lost a lot. You get lost. Yeah. A lot of wrong turns. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. Anyway, we flew in uh, from Indianapolis to Las Vegas, so we actually went back three hours, which was nice. Yes, um, but we're still on that time, so we're really, really tired. Yeah, but I mean, when we got here, it was still early. Yeah, it was. Uh -huh. So we got here at the start of the show. So we started our day after, we started our day here after we'd had an all night sort of flight yeah. routine. Anyway. Let's get to the show. Okay. So we got in. Where was our first big stop? We took lots of pictures. Um, you can find our day one pictures on Instagram. We pretty much stopped at um, Benchmade first. Benchmade? Yeah. So Benchmade knives for 2021, they didn't do much. No, not at all. I think there was like three. Three new knives? Yeah. If that. If that. I mean, I there really wasn't much. I don't remember that much, but either way, it was underwhelming. I'll use that word probably a lot in this video, but 2021 wasn't great for Benchmade. 2022 no. looks a lot more promising. Looking good. Benchmade, yeah. Benchmade thumbs up. Thumbs up, Benchmade. Looking good. Yep. So they've got a brand new OTF. I don't even know the name. Uh, I forget. We'll, you can, we'll get the, we'll get the, um, we'll do a video. Yes, we'll yeah. do a video. But they've got a super lightweight OTF out the front. Mm -hmm. We want one. Yeah, it's we really cool. It's super light and the, the, the uh, mechanism is easy. Yeah, it's, it's not like Microtech hard. Yeah, it's not very stiff. Yeah. Okay, and the blade fires out. Uh, it's really cool. It is. They've got a couple of small worn clips with the axis lock. Yeah, I really like those. They've There's one automatic version of that too. An automatic version and a manual version. Uh -huh. uh, don't know the names offhand. We'll get a catalog. Yeah. Then, yeah. then we'll be able to see. Uh, All right, here. Actually, everything is on the table there, if you can see. Yeah, they're right there. Somewhere in there. Yeah, they're really cool. Really, really cool. Bench but made, we're going to do a good. video there tomorrow. Yeah, we'll try and get an actual video there. Um, what else did we see? Um, then we went over to Sabibi. And we... That was actually the first stop, I think. Yeah, was they were busy, though. They were busy, so we didn't spend much time there. Uh-huh. Frankie and I joked that we could probably name every knife uh, on their layout. Oh with... my gosh, that's what we should do tomorrow. That should be a game. Yeah, name but the, knives. the names are with all of them, though. I know, but you could, we could pick do them it... up, and I have to, you have to guess. We could have done it without the names being uh -huh. there, is what we're saying. We know them quite well. Yeah, but Savivi and we... We already knew they were going to be awesome. And Thumbs they are. up. They are, yeah. Wait, aren't we like judging? Thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, so good Next. stuff. We we also stopped there at the end of the day and spent more time. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Seth. Uh, he's the representative for We Knives and Civivi. Talked with him a little bit. Really good stuff for them. No surprise. Yeah. No surprise. Yeah. They're just keeping it going from last year. What was the next stop? CRKT. Columbia River Knife and Tool. I never call it that. Okay. CRKT. You call it cricket. I was joking. So, 2021, not much. Well, there was some stuff, but just not really anything super special. Exactly. Nothing that really comes to mind that really stands out for me. Yeah. Anyway, 2022, they've Looks got really good. a lot to talk about. Yeah, they we do. Need, we need to do a full video there tomorrow or Friday mm -hmm. uh, to see it all. And 
looking good. Yeah, for sure. Thumbs, Thumbs up. up. CRKT. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was next? Spyderco. Spyderco. Okay. The new there's there's the one that they've been showing on Instagram. The stovepipe. The stovepipe. Stove That's the one that we've been seeing yeah. before we got here. That they've been advertising. It's like a four hundred and twenty dollar. Yeah. Mourncliff. Uh, yeah. Cleaver. Yeah. It's it's cute. I like it. Four hundred and twenty dollars. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. Memorable price. Uh, it's well built and everything, but what? You have a piece of skin on your lip. Oh, hopefully that's not been like bugging somebody uh, this whole video. <laughs> uh, the the stovepipe, well yeah. built, Taiwanese produced, so they have their more expensive knives produced in Taiwan. It yeah. seems right. It's nice. Very nice. I don't know that it's going to be that popular mm -hmm. with a big crowd. Yeah. So uh, that's the one they're showing. Here's the problem that we had with CRKT. They've got this whole table full of stuff. Not CRKT, Spyderco. Sorry, Spyderco. They've got these these whole three tables, I think, uh, full of glass tables full of knives. That, that you, are going to be coming out. You, Some of them are. Yeah, but you can't film, no. you can't take photos. Uh -uh. So we can't show you. No. But they do have some good stuff. Yes. This is one that I really think is exciting. It's a slip joint. It's a slip joint, but look how pretty it is. It's ivory with Damascus and yeah. it's the urban. It's a slip joint, but it's really, really pretty. I like it a lot. And here's that stove. stove. That's no, that's a. Oh, that's a. Sorry, I'm going backwards here. Why can't I think of the name? Yo Jumbo. Yo Jumbo. Yo Jumbo. Yeah. There's a sprint run jo jo Yo Jumbo coming out. But this is all the stuff they have uh, that's public right now yeah. in the catalog, even right. Everything that we couldn't film or photo looks cool. A lot of it There's does. Some, it's always and it always takes a while for it actually to be produced too. So it's like you get to see it, you get a little hint, and then it takes a while to, for it to actually come out. I think they're doing that for marketing purposes to build up hype. You know, like no, you can't, you can't look at this, you can't look. At no, that. don't look at that. Yeah, the general public can't see it. That is general Q. John Q. Public. John Q. Public. I, th I thought that's what you were going to say. Uh, Spider Co. All the good people. All the good people there. I know. I just want more. Thumbs up for them, but yeah. a little underwhelming, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What was next? What did we see? Um, we stopped back at Wee Knives. Oh, then we went over to Concept. Or Concept, as we always say. Yes. The representative there. Um, uh, what's his name? Marshall Noble. Marshall Noble, who does design work for the Goblin concept, specifically the Goblin uh -huh. and the Goblin XL. Yes. Both great knives. Uh, he was the representative. We talked a long time there. Good stuff uh -huh. for concept or yeah. concept. Well, and we have a bunch of their new stuff too. There's, they've been cranking it out, so good for them. Yeah. Good stuff. I like it. Yeah. Um, great stuff. And we'll do a video for, from them as well. Uh huh. Back to Spyderco real quick. I don't know if we're gonna do that much video there. Yeah. Because we there's nothing to we can't show you anything. Everything that we would show you, and, you've are, you already know about. And the stuff that they let you film, um, it was a lot of bird knives. So I'm kind of like, eh. Oh, not mm. not bird knives. No, not your knives. Bird knives. B Y R D. Yeah. That's They're not really, how you spell your name. They're really inexpensive or more budget some, friendly. Some might even say cheap. Spider budget codes. friendly. Budget friendly. So, maybe not a video from there. I don't know. I uh, don't know. We'll see. But concept, yes. What else did we look at? We went over to Liang Ma, the Godfather. Liang Ma, exactly. We uh, we dub him the Godfather. I forget why. Because he knows everything and everybody in the knife world. Well, and he has a lot of our favorite knives. He just does. Uh -huh. We're yeah. we're fanboys and fan girls. Can I be his, a fanboy? For his stuff. And Riot. Yes. So he gets his production knives done by Riot. Which makes them amazing. Uh, and they're just, yep. they're, they're so nice. Yep. The individual Riot models and then the models they make for others uh -huh. are just amazing. Yep. Uh, very high-end production Chinese knives. So. Oh, and he was, he has a new budget-friendly line coming out too that we'll film about also. We're gonna do a video with him mm -hmm. either uh, tomorrow or Friday, but definitely yep. thumbs up for the Godfather. Of course. Yeah. Did Even though he wants to eat our pug. He wants to roast Felix, which is, <laughs> I do have to laugh. It's funny. 
Um, I don't think he actually. He says it. He would. says it with a smile, and he's like, "Yeah, it's funny." Like he'd be really tasty. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he's not fat enough to be tasty. There's a lot of obviously shot show. It's firearms. It's the the it's the gun world, firearms community. Yeah. There's a lot of eye candy that way. But we we don't even have time. But we're just kind of looking around like, whoa, wow, uh -huh. it's a um, it's potty, always a lot. Potty overload. Potty overload. Potty overload. Uh -huh. So we looked at some of that stuff briefly and got a few pictures. Whoa, that's loud. Yeah, it is. We're in the casino. In yeah, the casino. Hopefully you can hear us. Yeah. What else? No, we're not gonna. We got a whole <laughs> display in front of us. No, come on. Go ahead. Look at how huge this thing is. Oh, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to show them that real quick. Okay. If you're still here, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe, too. But I think that's actually all of the knife places that we went to. Isn't that sad? Yeah. Now, we got here later in the day, and we left a little early because we're just so tired. Uh -huh. But that's all we really were able to see today. Yeah. Well, they have a really good... Uh, if you guys ever go to SHOT Show, um, they have a very good app for it, mm -hmm. um, and you can just put all your favorites, and then you can try to read the map to figure out where to go to. <laughs> that, for me, is kind of uh, hopeless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's a little recap. That's day one. Day one. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully, you'll be able to hear this out of all the casino sounds. Yes. And thanks a lot for joining us. Bye. We'll, we'll do more videos. Uh, and, and upload those as we can. Yep. But mostly, exactly. mostly we're here for selfish reasons. So. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.